today, once again, is an auspicious day. It's the Orthodox day of Easter. And it's the eve of the Urs of Imam Ali, alayhi salam. The great spiritual successor of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, there are many tales told of the valor, of the heroism, of the generosity of Imam Ali and Hazrat Fatima, his wife. Their very names are blessings echoing down the ages. They are flowers of spiritual chivalry. So many tales could be told of their altruism. Perhaps today I'll tell just one, a story about Imam Ali, about how the angel Gabriel came to the Prophet Muhammad and presented him with a khirka, that is to say, an initiatic robe. That robe was given to him to wear, and he wore it. It was a very special robe. It was embroidered with the divine names. On the collar were written the names, Ya Aziz and Ya Sattar, O powerful, O veiler. On the right sleeve was lit, written, Ya Latif, Ya Alim, O Subtle, O Knower. On the left sleeve was written, Ya Qawi, Ya Razak, O Strong One, O Provider. In the middle was written, Ya Sabur, Ya Shakur, Ya Karim, O Patient, O Grateful, O Kind. And on the hem was written, Ya Wahid, Ya Ahad, Ya Samad, Ya Fard. O singular, O one, O eternal, O unique. These were the divine names emblazoned on that initiatic robe that was given to the prophet by Gabriel, the angel. And after he had worn it for some days, then Gabriel reappeared and said, now is the time to give it to the one who is to wear it after you. And he said, the one who is to wear it after you will be known by giving the right answer to the question. And the question is, what will you do if you receive this robe? And so that question was put to all of the companions of the prophet one by one. And each of them gave a, a meaningful answer, an inspiring answer, a sincere answer. But not one of those answers was exactly the right one. Until it came the turn, turn of Imam Ali, Mullah Ali, Hazrat Ali, the great lion of God. And when he was asked this question, he said, I will use it as a covering and will envision the scene with the generosity of the unseen. And while wearing the robe will not cause trouble or harm to anyone. That was the right answer. the way of harmlessness, doing no wrong. And this phrase, this unforgettable phrase, I will envision the seen, the visible, I will envision the, the seen with the generosity of the unseen.
whatever one looks upon, how should one look upon it? As Rita Lee said, he would look upon it with that generosity of spirit that comes with seeing into the unseen, seeing that which transpires behind that which appears, seeing the big picture, seeing everything in its fullest context. There's generosity in that. There's a graciousness of vision. There's a full heartedness of vision. I will envision the scene with the generosity of the unseen, the ghaib, the great mystery pouring itself forth into manifestation constantly. See nothing outside of that flow. See everything within that flow of generosity and see it as blessed. And so the initiatic robe was given to Imam Ali. He became the spiritual successor of the prophet and his successors in turn passed down the lineage that we are most privileged to inherit today. <clears throat> 